Good morning dear children. How are you? I hope that all are fine. Okay children, see in the last class I have told you one story of Avantika. Do you remember that? Yes children, Avantika and her friends went to Mysore. It is an excursion, school excursion and they visited a zoo. First they watched the bird section. Okay and children that we have already learnt. And children in that uh, zoo, Mysore zoo, after watching these birds, this group of students, Avantigas and her friends walked inside this zoo and at, after some time they reached nearby a pond. That time one of her friends told that Avantika look there here is a beautiful swan. Swan see children here you can see its picture swan. Ah it is known around the world for its beauty. It's a beautiful bird and its elegance and grace. Okay and children see ah that swan is, is taking one fish in water. Okay using its beak. That time they think that why this swan can swim in water? Swan is a bird no? Why all the birds cannot swim in water? Do you know that answer? Do you think about that? All the birds can swim in water? No. Some birds only can swim in water. A particular speciality is in their body. Then only they can swim in water. Which are the specialities that the bird can swim in water? The first one means children webbed clothes. See the clothes? It's left part. Webbed clothes. And spoon like beak. See the spoon like beak? Ah, these are the peculiarities in their body. These types of birds only can swim in water. And they have a ability to dive in water surface. Okay. And they can use their legs to feed in water. Okay children. So these types of peculiarities that is occupying in a bird. Then only they can swim. Okay children. That is about swan. And children this swan is a uh, bird that eat water plants. Water plants, swan. And its beak is long and flexible one. Long and flexible one. Okay. And children, here you can see another picture. See, do you know this picture? It's not a common bird. Its name is children, Acuteryx. It's a special uh, category of birds, animal. Acuteryx. Actually, it is an animal that live on earth and that have the qualities of birds and reptiles. That is the important thing. Archaeopteryx is an animal that live on earth and that has the qualities of birds and reptiles. Okay, and they have teeth in their mouth. And they have a long tail with feathers. See that? They have a long tail with feathers. That is Archaeopteryx. Okay children. Clear? And children, after seeing this one, they move to the next section. Next section. That time in one cage, Avandika and her friends saw that one eagle. You know eagle? One eagle is eating a rat. See, one eagle is eating a small rat. See children, do you see that? Okay children, and some birds use their claws. See, the eagle claws, claws, C-L-A-W-S, toes and claws. Okay, and see children, in this picture you can see that 
eagle claws and toes are different from other birds toes and claws that is entirely different from other birds toes and claws okay and children this eagle is used its claws to catch and hold the prey to catch the prey catch the rat and hold the rat and they can eat easily okay and also this uh, eagle using their claws for climbing on trees toes for climbing on trees digging for all these purposes this eagle is using its claws as very sharp one claws are very sharp one ah uh, these type of birds we can call it as children praying birds what is that praying birds p r e y i n g praying birds so some of the examples of praying birds are vulture eagle hawk okay praying birds clear children and move on to the next one that is perching birds what is that perching birds what is this meaning children perching birds means what yeah children a bird feet is adapted for perching perching bird means a bird with feet adapted for perching perching means children it's a temporary resting place temporary resting place so they do not fall even when they sleep okay they can perch on the branch trees they can hold tightly hold on a branches of a tree perching birds so their claws and toes are specially evolved for holding on a branch of tree perching trees they can hold on a branch okay examples are sparrow crow sparrow and crow these are the birds have perching toes okay children so perching birds means a bird with feet adapted for perching here you can see the picture of crow and sparrow perching birds examples of perching birds a crow has four toes how many toes four toes three toes are facing forward here you can see that a crow is sitting on a branch of a tree three toes are facing forward one toe is facing backward in like that way crow is sitting on a branches of a tree so it is a perching bird same as sparrow also clear children okay next one children move on to another one that is climbing birds what is that climbing birds see here you can see two pictures which are they yes children very good the first one is woodpecker and the second one is parrot and woodpecker woodpecker also uses its toes and claws to climb on a tree to climb on a tree okay and how many toes does a woodpecker have total four toes woodpecker also has four toes see the four toes two toes are pointing upward two toes are pointing backward okay and these the woodpecker use these toes to hold on a tree when they are climbing on a tree they are holding by using these toes and claws woodpecker for getting a better grip on the tree branches okay that is the uses of toes and claws of a woodpecker and in this category one more bird you can see there that is parrot parrot also has four toes two toes facing forward and two toes facing backwards and these toes also used in parrots for climbing on the trees clear 
and move on to the last content of this today's class is you know children hen and chicks do you have hen and chicks in your home okay uh, did you see that children hen and chicks are scratching in the ground in your home yard for getting the insects from the soil okay children see how this uh, hen and chick get the insects from the ground they are scratching using their toes and digging the soil and then they are taking the insects from the soil okay these all things about our today's class children the conclusion of our today's class is different birds clothes are used for different different purposes in the last class we have already learned adaptation their body parts are specially shaped for living in particular environment that is adaptation so children here swan is webbed clothes spoon like beak that can easily swim in water that is their body peculiarity and eagle claws toes is very sharp for eating the other animals okay so these type of animals we can call it as praying birds these type of birds we can call it as praying birds and next one is perching birds sparrow crow and last one is climbing birds that is woodpecker and parrot and the last one is hen and chicks these all birds toes and claws are different okay for their doing different purposes for doing different task okay children these all things about our today's class i hope that all of you understood today's class watch it carefully read the textbook do the homework and we can meet at the time of google meet bye